you spent two full days in Japan. I have. What was your favorite thing about that? Well, I mean, the highlights are obviously the restaurants that we've mostly been to, because that's pretty much why I'm here. But, <laughs> what do we got? Robot restaurant is insane. Uh, Japanese culture is insane. These people are crazy, and I'm not sure if this is actual Japanese culture or if this is like a show they're putting on for people who think this is Japanese culture. Yeah, it's, but it's probably fun. it. The robot restaurant was confusing, mostly. Everything here is confusing. That was really confusing. Like <laughs> during the show, I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" Throughout the majority of it, and I just it, it was it's one big bootleg. You know, everything is like a parody of something because you know that's Asians for you. A big, a big chunk of the plot was taken from Avatar. Yeah, and then like there was like Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda uh, character ripoffs, and then the Kakashi was in the show. <laughs> if I were to write That's a review awesome. on that, it would just be like confusing. That that would be the headline, confusing. I think my my favorite experiences have been the the calm moments. Like we go to a park, mm -hmm. and then I like to just sit and walk around, you know, just talk about everything. Yeah. Uh, what was yesterday? So we stopped at a park. Sitting down and eating is cool. I think one of the reasons I liked that sushi restaurant so much was while the sushi itself was very good, it was just nice to sit down and talk. Yeah, just just take in everything that just happened. And yeah. And then we went to Insanity after that. And what did you guys think of Tower Records? There was yeah. like two famous groups there. Like I think on what what floor? I don't know what floor that was. Yeah. But the was fourth a, floor. The fourth floor. I don't remember. That was like the K-pop floor. The K-pop floor. Yeah. Yeah, there was Eugene's band. Yeah, they just had a bunch of like stylishly dressed Japanese people up on stage with the sunglasses and the hair and like, you know, <laughs> the jacket and all that. And then all the way across the store is just giggling Japanese girls. Yeah, I think they were getting like, signatures and shit. Yeah, but there was a few. Like there was one. She was hiding behind the, the jewel case. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, okay. The stereotype is real. When yeah. Like Japanese girls, dude. Everyone, like, all the girls are so, like, giggly and <laughs> high pitch. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I know. Like, they were, she, they were all the way in the back of the room. The band was all the way up there. And then I just walked in between them. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of giggling girls in Japan. Especially that one. <laughs> It yeah, turns out that know. we actually did lose Eugene, but to make ourselves <laughs> cope with that trauma, we just picked up a different Asian yeah, guy. Yeah, this is another guy we picked up somewhere around here and saying that he was Eugene. You guys did pick <laughs> There was a couple this times. Was <laughs> there, was, there was a couple times where a, 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 a new Eugene was walking with you guys. It was really fucking funny. There was a new Eugene was walking right next to Eugene for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, okay, so a new Eugene just magically grew on us right there. <laughs> Akihabara is considered to be an otaku cultural center as well as the shopping district for video games, anime, manga, as well as computer goods. You can find an endless amount of toys, half-naked anime girls, capsule vending machines, and arcades. This is a comic book store. <laughs> Is it? Oh, there's a manga. Holy shit, that's porn. What? Japan in one picture. Hey, let me take a picture of that picture. Show Ariola. This particular manga shop had about four floors dedicated to yaoi. Yaoi is a genre focusing on romantic or sexual relationships between male characters. This was a bit of a culture shock. Uh oh. No, they're all guys. They're all dudes. They're you, those... Eugene, look. That is a boner. You can actually like see the shape of the tip and everything. You see that? That is a boner. Check. That's a boner. Look. Look. Straight boner. boner. It's bonerific. You have the boner right there, covered by a, a ribbon. Yeah. Look. Boner. Oh, this is the actual porn? Porn. That's a chick. That's a guy. You sure? Oh, wow. That's a fucking big ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was fooled. Chicks with dicks. That Wait, was what? a trap. Is that a girl boy? 
Oh my god. Funny thing is that I bought this comic book for a friend of mine, and he didn't realize what it was until he opened it. Very misleading cover. A lot of Yaoi tends to be fanfiction of already existing manga characters. It was all fun and games until I saw this shit. This shit really fucked with me. Akihabara is filled with maid cafes. We stopped at the at-home maid cafe. Sadly, they don't allow pictures or videos inside, but we managed to sneak a few. Maid cafes are cosplay restaurants where the waitresses dress in maid costumes and act as servants. They pretty much drop cute shit on your drinks and serve you food with faces on it. The only pictures they do allow in there is a Polaroid with you and the maid of your choosing. We all picked our server, Coco. So that's it for our Akihabara trip. Please like, comment, subscribe, and come back for more Tokyo goodness.